the small town was eagerly preparing for Christmas, as it did every year. However, this year, a chilling tale circulated through the town, casting an eerie shadow on everyone's faces, the curse of Santa Claus. Every year, children would anxiously await the arrival of Santa Claus, opening their presents with gleeful anticipation. But this year, Santa Claus's behavior began to change. What emerged from gift boxes were not toes, but nightmare-inducing horrors. Exploding toes replaced candy, and venomous insects took the place of sweet Santa Claus's face, once adorned with a warm smile now bore an expression of icy malevolence. The townsfolk, upon noticing this change, were filled with dread. They couldn't fathom how the Santa Claus they had trusted and loved could undergo such a transformation. The cries emanating from homes and the mournful wails of those who lost their children on Christmas night were haunting. Some even claim that Santa Claus roamed the streets, kidnapping children. The town's priest took it upon himself to unravel the mystery. Behind this horrifying transformation, following the trail left by Santa Claus, who had left behind a cryptic letter filled with enigmatic symbols at the church, he embarked on a quest to find answers. The letter revealed that Santa Claus had been cursed, and he had to undergo a harrowing ordeal for a year before returning to the town. Failure to do so would have dire consequences for the townspeople. The priest gathered the townsfolk to put an end to this terrifying curse. They delved into ancient Christmas legends, trying to uncover the reason behind the return of malevolence to their beloved Santa Claus. Through their research, they remembered an old ritual that had been long forgotten. The townspeople had to come together to break the curse and free Santa Claus. The townsfolk rekindled their faith in Santa Claus's goodness and love for their children. Throughout the year, they demonstrated their love and dedication to their children. Unity and determination became their guiding principles. As they prepared for Santa Claus's return, determined to end the curse. However, when Christmas Eve arrived, it brought with it a night of terror for the townsfolk. But Santa Claus, wandering the streets, began abducting children. The cries that echoed through the night and the disappearances struck fear into the hearts of the townspeople. The priest rallied the townsfolk and reminded them of the old ritual. Through their unwavering faith and unity, they weakened the curse's power and stood strong against Santa Claus's threats. Santa Claus could no longer harm the town and was once again ensnared by the curse. This time, however, the curse rebounded onto Santa Claus himself. With a sinister grin, Santa Claus vanished into the night, leaving behind a chilling message. You cannot save me. Fear will be with you forever. The townsfolk remained powerless against Santa Claus's curse. Fear and horror never left the town and each Christmas night was still haunted by the cries and disappearances. The curse of Santa Claus remained a dark secret of the town, and instead of celebrating Christmas with joy, the townspeople were burdened with the memories of fear and dread. Every year as Christmas approached, a shadow descended upon their hearts, a reminder of how Santa Claus's curse endured for eternity. 